Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2. Now when we left off last time, we saved Sarah and Luke. Hooray! Uh, it was a rough save. Sarah was really freaking out. They were trapped in a trailer and all of the yelling that we could kind of hear from outside the trailer was Luke tr just trying really hard to convince her to move, but she wouldn't even look at him. She was just kind of huddled in a corner. So we got her out. We got her moving. Jane has given up on her because she reminds her a lot of her sister. And so Jane thinks we should just leave Sarah behind and that she's a danger to everybody else. I think we need to give her a chance. Things could be okay. In the meantime, baby is coming. So we're trying to look for somewhere other than out in the open at this war memorial for Rebecca to have the baby. Uh, Bonnie and Mike went off to check a museum that signs are telling us is nearby. And Jane went down to check a house by a river. And I just wanted to stay with Kenny because we talked to him and he's feeling friendly to us again. Like, it's going to be okay with Kenny, I think. And I want to just hang out to him a little more and reinforce that. But instead, Bonnie's all, I think Jane might abandon us, so I want you to go check on her. And Luke said basically the same thing. Oh, you better go check on it. So, fine. We're going to go help out Jane check out this river house. Oh, it's the visitor center. Okay. Well, nothing interesting so far. I don't really see anything I can... Okay, here we go. Yeah, she's deciding whether she wants to stay with our group or not, I'll bet. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... If you want to go, you can go. But I think well, you should give us a chance. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. Yeah. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. Okay. I like the height. You're not going to convince me to try and leave with you, Jane. Partner, huh? Well, let's... You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Ah, this is the point. Let's See? just focus on this right now. All right, let her, we'll let her deal with it herself. She's got to decide whether I she wants to be with the group or not. For. God knows we could use a break. If we try to convince her to join us, or guilt trip her in some way and she doesn't really want to, and she's not fully committed to it on her own initiative then ultimately I think she'll always be a somewhat unreliable ally, possibly even resentful down the road. We've got to let her figure out for herself whether she wants to stay with us or Check go it alone. Out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. All right. Maybe this will work. The nail file? Versatility Maybe. is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. What about the screwdriver we've got? No? <laughs> we'll just blast the door open. No, we're not going to use the key. That's what she's going to say. Like, really? The cannon? You think no. this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Ow! Shit! You okay? You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Sorry, Jane, I'm doing a bit of messing around here. Let's check out this telescope. I think you need a quarter to make it work. I guess it's broken. No, it just needs a quarter. Anything in the trash? Find anything? No, not even trash. Hmm. When will it end, this cruel, cruel war? Can we get in here? Oh. Well, 
Well, we gotta find something, Clem. We miss something over here? Okay, we can't go out here. I guess they don't need quarters. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. Oh, is there a little town the in there? The river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Jane, Who was that? There's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? He might have a group no here. No idea. Let's just we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. He's not really he's streaking got around. On plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I thought I was going to talk to him. Okay, well we'll just wait and see. That's probably smart. Oh, I think he has a group in here most likely. What is he doing? Some kind of drop spot? Oh boy, I... I'm gonna chance it. Hey. Settle down. I just want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Nothing. Okay, finger off the trigger, please. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Leave BJ. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Jane. Back up. That doesn't really inspire trust down. in the guy, but this is probably safer for us. Be nice to him, Jane. Clint. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. This isn't how we're running it. Come on. I just wanted to talk to the guy. Leave his bag alone. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. Yeah, what are you doing with all that? No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. From who? Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, Jane. you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. We're not taking his stuff. You're not taking them. No. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> Jane! Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane! What are you doing? Settle don't down, Jane. Ever come around here. Oh again. my god. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Jane! Go. Jesus. You don't know what's going on here, Jane. You don't know the story. You don't know if this is a good guy or a bad You don't know anything about this guy. Why are you being so psychotic? I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Then go. Threatening some stupid kid? 
stop. Yeah, why'd you just threaten him? Talk to him? I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Why? We can go to the museum. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. It seems like a terrible idea since that guy knows that we're here now, so if he's got another group, he can just go back and tell him. This crazy lady told me to never come back and she stole my gun and she tried to steal my medicine. Man, she's sitting there saying, oh, Sarah's a dangerous Liam, group. You're Liam, a danger hey, to the group, Jane. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from him in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Hmm. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? Well, did you? No. Well... Glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. She doesn't like people. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe. Nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. He's not broken. People get reckless. He's rallying. I know you got a history with him. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. Luke, he just went I through something that, really rough, and he's pulling it together. Horror hadn't gotten to you yet but you watched your friend murder carver not just kill him but luke clem you didn't even blink it needed to be done carver deserved what happened to him he did he was a dangerous was a man. man no question about that yeah i'm just hoping we don't become the same no we're not going to become the same part of that is to calm down stop hurling all these accusations around I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I still don't think the deck's a good idea. It's a known place, and obviously there was something going on that he was stashing the medicine there. So if there's some kind of, like, drop-off or something arrangement, you know, kind of like back at the motel with the bandits in Season 1, then we're just asking for trouble by putting ourselves here. We yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. That's not really true. There's lots of things that can go wrong, but it's probably the best thing to tell her right now that it's all okay. Has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer. It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Why didn't it give me the full? Glad you made it back safe. There we go. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. It does hurt. It hurts so much more than I thought it would hurt. I wish Alvin was here. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me and always looked out for everyone. That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. I should have told him that more often. Yeah. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to we'll him. We use that to be nicer to everybody else. To about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. See, aren't you glad you uh, didn't kill me oh, like shit. you wanted to when you I first met me? Yeah. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. Now I get to scamper off after them. them. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. I do want to see if I can talk to him just a little bit before we do that. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? He 
He's fine. He's he's pulling it together. He's going to be just feeling, fine. Rebecca? I knew it was going to hurt, Prim. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. That really is the truth. I generally think that I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. I used to be in Aikido some years ago. And there's like this one hold, um, what is there? There was like Ikkyo, Sankyo. It was like fourth hold, Yonkyo or something like that. That's supposed to like pull on a pressure point on your arm and it's supposed to really hurt. And I can handle that and not tap out. I felt all cool. Yeah, I can take pain. But man, labor pain is something else entirely. I cried. I whimpered. I forgot to talk to Sarah. It, it made me re-estimate myself and my pain tolerance. It hurt like I did not admit. I knew it would hurt, but it was so much more than I ever thought. So I, I'm with Rebecca on that. I get that. She's in a lot of pain right now. Hey, Clem. Hey, guys. I thought you went with Jane. I did. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a, a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. Well, I, I just want to help. I appreciate that, but we gotta get him moving, guys. There's there's a baby coming. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side. You watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah. They're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. They are really, Good really point. loud. Up on Mackinac Island, they have um, some that they... That are still usable. And, of course, you know, only the people running the fort are able to fire them, but they're quite loud. Do you think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Probably. Well, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Lee would have loved this place. Yeah, he was into this kind of stuff. Well, let's go there ahead and sure talk to Bonnie. Animals through here. Watch where you sit. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Oh, no real conversation with you at this point, eh? All right, all right. Okay, nothing that way. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Okay, so we can check. Looks like a trash can over there. Ooh, let's go look at some souvenirs. Yeah, this place is... I had way I'm too many you. windows. I sure don't... Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Yeah, I'm just seeing what they have, Bonnie. Not to be hostile to her, just... You said you wanted to come back with something, so I'm trying to help you find something, that's all. Well, yeah, let's take this coat. Someone might want to wear it. Perhaps. I don't know what kind hey, of shape it'd be in. This. An old coat. Is it a... A legitimate nice. Civil War coat or just a replica? You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always... She has a lot to make up for, judgment. but... Seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. And no, I'm not entirely trusting her, but... That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know... Uh, can we really care about that at this point, Mike? Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guys, really... Guess it's better than nothing, though. Yeah. Is she really gonna care? I'm not trying to downplay the importance of the Civil War or any bad feelings about the Confederacy. You know, it was... It was a war that was... Ooh, I'll stick my foot in it. It's a war that was entirely about slavery. It was. You look at all the letters of secession from the states that seceded that they sent, it's all about slavery. That's what it was. They were pissed off at seeing the ending of slavery coming. So yeah, I get that probably 
Rebecca wouldn't want to wear a Confederate coat. I wouldn't really want to wear a Confederate coat. But at the same time, uh, beggars can't be choosers. This is a situation where we just got to take what we can get. Okay, that'll give us the water, I think, because we need water and a blanket. So let's look at these other two things first. What's in this box? I mean, it seems like if you're in an apocalypse, is that really the time to worry about using a Confederate coat? A it's a coat. Trust me. That's all that really matters. We can still move the box, huh? What's that gain us? Or maybe we can reach around and unlock that door. Or the whole shutter, yeah. Oh, I bet the other water bottle is empty. But this one now. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? Just make an awful lot reach noise. an arm around and unlock yeah, it, guys. Maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm just saying, looking at that door, it looks an awful lot like you could just slide your arm under, hook it over, and unlock I'm the door. Stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from <gasps> Yep, pull, pull, pull. Give me out, guys. Thanks, Mike. That happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. Well, done is done. Let's get this water. Got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Yeah, we, guys, we really need to get back to everyone else. This isn't the time to be messing around. Yeah, it's good to find supplies, but... We got a baby coming. Let's hustle back with what we found already. I don't think that she can carry hey, it. I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Oh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. We'll sort it the out. The baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. what do you mean? Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. Well, yeah. I eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> not like. I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. <laughs> I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Oh my goodness. Really? We're gonna... Where? Over here! <laughs> <laughs> the quest to take out the raccoon. Oh! Oh, shit! Grab oh, it! Get it! Get it! He's too far! Oh. Oh, shit! Dang it! Don't shoot, don't shoot. Not with the walkers out there. It's way too oh. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <laughs> How to well. get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon. Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. Yeah, it's enough messing around, guys. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. No! No! Shit, shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. 
Okay. 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 Oh, oh God. guys. Oh God. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Clem. Clementine. Oh. Shit. Walkers. How they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. We've got to go. We've got to go to the new place, guys. That's all we got. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? By the river. I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God. There's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. We can come back for the water and stuff later. Get going. Oh boy. Don't anything happen to Kenny. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. He's fine. I mean, that that is him. He's doing it to protect us. Sure. But... He's fine, Bonnie. Now's not the time. He Kenny. Come on, man. Let's go. He just found something handy to vent some of his feelings onto. It's okay. All right, and we did just get the auto save. I really want to keep going, but we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. As always, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Well, I'm worried about how this new place is going to work out and how it's going to work out with that guy we found there. I think that's just a lot of trouble waiting to rain down on us, but... We've got Kenny up and fighting again. Yeah, he maybe went a little nuts so on the zombie, but that's okay. He's he's working through some things. He's on the right track. He's going to be okay.